The FIO FW5 are the latest set of True Wireless IEMs from FIO, packing a hybrid triple driver setup along with flagship Qualcomm chipset featuring Snapdragon sound and a dedicated DAC chip to tie it all together. In this video, I'll be giving you my complete review and letting you know whether or not the FIO FW5 are worth their asking price. So let's jump straight into it. So first, let me give you a quick top down. This is what you get, you know, with the box here. Pop that open. Got the earbuds themselves. You can go ahead and pull those right out of there. You got six different set of ear tips. You see five here. There's another two that are already installed. You get your charging cable, your usual books, things of that nature. So nothing too crazy, but that's pretty much what you get in the box. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. So let's take the packaging off there. Let me go ahead and punch in a little bit here. There we are. So, and there are the earbuds themselves. So as you can see, kind of a unique design. Haven't seen anything exactly like this design that they put on here. So pretty interesting, just something a little bit, a little bit different, but I like what I'm seeing. So first and foremost, let's talk about the connectivity. So the FIO w, uh, FW5 are featuring Bluetooth 5.2 with SBC, AAC, Aptex Adaptive, and LHDC as their connection codec. So you have a lot of options here, but it does make the FW5 fully compatible with both Android and iOS devices. Now, in order to take advantage of the high-res codecs like LHDC and Aptex Adaptive, you will have to use a Android device to take advantage of that. Now, when it comes of Bluetooth range on these guys, I managed to get 31 feet or just about nine and a half meters. So obviously that's gonna vary depending on the codec and how many walls you put in between the uh, earbuds and the phone that they're connected to, but 31 feet or nine and a half meters, not too bad. Now, as far as multi-point connectivity, um, so far I have not been able to pair these up to two devices at the same time. Now, they are supposed to get multi-point via a firmware update, but I have not been able to use the multi-point function successfully. And as of the making of this video, I am on firmware version 1.26, which is supposed to support multi-point connectivity it is not working at this time. So I just wanted to make that very, very clear. Now, the FW5, they are featuring a low latency gaming mode. So when it comes to latency, when you're watching videos or doing any sort of mobile gaming, no problems there whatsoever. But that gaming mode will reduce battery life. So something that you're gonna wanna keep in mind if you do wanna go ahead and use that, um, you know, for your mobile gaming, Call of Duty, Fortnite, any of that sort of stuff. Now, when it comes to comfort, so let me go ahead and pull these out of, the out of their charging case here give you a quick top down. So comfort wise, these are not the smallest of earbuds. Now, um, behind the main design here on the back, they're kind of similar to what we got with the um, NeuraTru Pro. So they're big on the outside, but not too big on the inside. As you can see, I've already swapped out the tips here as well. But let me go ahead and drop them in my ears real quick. And this way you can see kind of what they'll look like in my actual ears. So let me do that real quick. There we are. See, stick out just a little bit. So yeah, that's what they look like in my ears. So sometimes people will be like, hey, you didn't put them in your ears. This is why I'm showing you. <laughs> but yeah, so comfort so far has been fine in my personal experience with these earbuds, no issues whatsoever. Now, obviously comfort and fitment are gonna be highly subjective. Um, so user experience may vary because all of our ears are completely different. Now, one thing I do wanna make sure, uh, make of note, these are using a, the FW5s, they are using a wide bore stem on here. So um, if you're gonna be shopping for different ear tips, you're gonna wanna use ear tips for in-ear monitors, uh, not normally for um, true wireless earbuds because they are a wider bore design. Now in the box, like I showed you before, they did include six different style of ear tips. Um, they had Fio's uh, three pairs of their balanced tips and three pairs of their MS-18 tips. None of those work for me whatsoever. So I ended up uh, swapping them out for a set of the SpinFit W1s. I'll leave a link in the description for anybody who's interested and grabbing a set of these, these really work. Now, the reason I said that the other ones didn't work for me at all was I tried the balanced ones and their MS-18 tips, all the different sizes, and it, regardless of which of their ear tips I used, I got no bass response whatsoever, no bass response. So I was like, okay, something's not right, I'm not getting a good seal, there's no way that these have no bass. So I went ahead and swapped over to these uh, SpinFit W1s, boom. Instantly rounded out the sound, I got that sub bass hit, 
that's exactly what I was looking for. So those tips just didn't do it for me. Now, everybody's ears are different. So those tips might actually work really well for you. But if they don't, and you say, man, these things ain't got no bass, it's probably the ear tips that are just not working for you. So keep in mind, the SpinFit W1s, they did work quite well, in my personal opinion. But comfort overall, grip has been very good. Comfort has been very good, in my opinion. Um, so that's the way you want to roll. And then grip, like I said, very good. They're actually staying um, nice and... Uh, nice and put in my ears they don't slip they don't move around during my walks so yeah and they can actually work fairly well as a workout ear but if you need something um along those lines uh, because they do carry an ipx4 rating if that's something that you need now when it comes to sleep sleep is not really going to be a good option with the fw5 because they are a bit on the chunky side um just to be clear so if you're a back sleeper probably not going to be an issue but if you are a side sleeper then yeah probably not going to be the way Way that you want to roll just uh just wanted to make that clear now when it comes to controls on the fw5 let me see if i can pull them out here real quick they are using button controls and they are two physical buttons on each ear but you see one here and then there's the other one here and they give you full control over everything you know answer and phone calls play pause skip track volume all of it so and it, they work quite well they're actually very very easy to remember now unfortunately um they're not programmable but since there aren't a ton of features on these earbuds it can kind of be forgiven um but they're very easy to use you can summon your smart assistant of your choice so they do work in that sense so as far as control schemes i really can't i really don't have many gripes against them just throwing it out there very tactile easy to find easy to use so no no gripes from me as far as those go now let's move over to the fio control app so let me grab my handy uh asus zenfone 9 here this is what i used as my main testing device so you can see here let's go ahead and pull up the app fio control there we are so let's go ahead and hit that so as soon as you open up the app, now this app is available for both iOS and Android. So you got FIO FW5, shows you the battery life of the earbuds. It shows you the codec that's connected, so AppTex Adaptive. And right here, we've got the uh, version number of your firmware, so version 1.26. So you got toggles for your indicator lights. You got battery protection. Basically, if you toggle this on, it will not allow the earbuds to charge past 85% to protect the batteries. There's your gaming mode toggle right there. Idle power off. So basically, if you leave the earbuds by themselves, you can set how long before they'll power themselves off and you have your uh, bluetooth codec selection so lhc aptex aac or aptex adaptive moving over to eq so these do have a full eq as of this latest firmware update it is a 10 band eq and you do have a gain uh, slider here as well so if you want to kind of pump it up now <laughs> just be careful if you do raise the gain on these because if you raise it too much and start eqing stuff you will get some distortion just throwing that out there um, so this is how you toggle the eq on and off you want to make sure that's toggled on and then you have your presets so you get three presets pop classical harman curve and then you have your own that you can program for yourself personally i like the way that they sound right out of the box so i didn't really mess with that too much i just went back to the normal sound audio you have a few more options here channel balance so if you have any sort of channel imbalance you can turn up the gain on either side headphone volume itself if you want to get the most volume out of these you want to go ahead and max that out they get dummy loud more on the volume in just a minute you get the volume of the tones you also get the volume for your calls and the language of the tone prompts then there's an actual user guide you have the gear right up here this is where you get to do your custom device name you can clear the pairing restore defaults power off or your firmware updates as needed so yeah that's the app right there for fio control for the fw5 not the greatest app i've ever seen but it is functional it will get the job done for what you need it to do you can still use these earbuds without it but it gives you further control if you want to go ahead and take advantage of it so let's move over to some of the performance of the fio fw5 now first before we move into this performance section if you're getting any value out of this video and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button for me it's free for you and it greatly greatly helps the channel so hugely hugely appreciated so top down so let's go back to it fio fw5 let's talk about the battery life in the case now fio was claiming seven hours on a single charge with an additional 14 hours in the case so an additional two charges 
bringing it up to a total of 21 hours. A little disappointing, but more on that in just a sec. Now, in my own actual testing, I managed to get five hours and 56 minutes. That's five hours and five, six minutes at 75% volume using the Aptex Adaptive Codec. Now, that's decent battery life on the earbuds, but I was hoping for a bit more considering the fact that these do not have noise cancellation, ambient mode, or any other advanced features. I was expecting a little bit more, um, but it could be because of the DAC chip. It could be because of the triple drivers that it's affecting battery life. Just it, that could be what's going on. Now, as far as charging the case itself, they do charge via USB type C. You got a port right there on the back. Unfortunately, there is no wireless charging on these earbuds or on this case. So just wanted to make that very, very clear. Now, to be honest, for a case as chunky as this, right? Like check that out. So a bit on the chunky side, right? Let's, let's give you a quick comparison to something like the Galaxy Buds Pro 2, right? So a bit on the chunky side. For a case that's kind of this chunky, honestly, I expected either better uh, battery life on the case itself or wireless charging, if not both, right? So um, that's just something that I wanted to throw out there to Fio. I think they could have done a little bit better as far as the battery life is concerned. Now, let's move over to uh, volume and sound quality. So first up, let's talk about volume. Now, this is um, the, the Fio FW5. The best way that I can say this is that they get absurdly loud like <laughs> absurdly loud. So just to be, um, just to be totally clear with you guys, these are getting in my measurements, 124.7 decibels of peak volume. That's right. 124.7. These are the loudest earbuds that I have measured out of all the earbuds since I started measuring for volume levels. It's pretty wild. Now, I attributed, I, I'm attributing this to the fact that they actually have their um, the onboard of the, the DAC chip that's built into them to give them additional power to the drivers, but that is super loud. Like, I'm, this is like, you can damage your hearing type of loud for sure. So normally for me, when I'm listening to them, I'm listening to them about 40 to about 50% at the most. I'm not going past 50% because they get absurdly loud. It's crazy levels of volume here. So just wanted you to keep that in mind. So if you need something that's got a lot of volume, they definitely, definitely have you covered when it comes to volume. So now let's move over to the sound quality. Now all the testing on the FW5 was done using the factory EQ with no adjustments made. Now I tested both on iOS uh, for AAC and Android for Aptex Adaptive. And the music came from Apple Music, and Cobas, along with some locally stored Flack and Wave music files. Now, the feed, uh, FIO FW5, they are featuring a triple driver setup with a 10 millimeter dynamic for the bass and dual balanced armature uh, drivers to handle the mid range and the treble. And in addition to that, they also feature the AK4332 DAC chip for a cleaner and more powerful listening experience. So, definitely. Um, tying it all together there with that DAC chip, which is kind of um, unexpected, but I'm with it. <laughs> I'm totally with it. So let's start with the base. Now, as far as base goes, the, FD, the FW5, they feature strong, tight, accurate bass response with good rumble when needed. It hits deep and it gets out without any muddiness or any distortion in my personal testing. So whether you're listening to a live band with a real drum kit or, you know, some synth wave with 808s kicking in the background, um, everything stays nice and clean without getting bloated or muddy. Now, one of the test tracks that I used to test here was Some Cut by Trillville. Now, you guys know this song. You, you know, if, if you know Some Cut by Trill, come on, you, you guys know, you gotta let me know in the chat if you know that song. Everybody knows that song. So um, the dynamic drivers here, um, they really held their own. This song has a strong, impactful bass line throughout the whole track with some serious sub bass and the dynamic drivers here really, really held it together without compromising on the vocals. So excellent, excellent bass response here. Now for the mid range, we have a nice warm mid range, which really caught me by surprise because I was expecting Fio, I was expecting more on the neutral side. Uh, but no, these actually come in nice and warm. So vocals are more on the forward side, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Male and female voices sounded natural and warm without being in your face. Same thing goes for guitars, cellos, saxophones, things of that nature. Now the test track, or one of the test tracks that I used uh, to test these out was La Llorona, 
by Angela Aguilar. Now, that's a song, if you guys have watched the movie Coco, um, La Llorona is one of the songs that they sang in that movie. Um, this is a cover that was done a few years back by Angela Aguilar. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful acoustic track, and her powerful vocals really, really shine with these earbuds. So, something to keep in mind, but definitely something you can add to your list if you're into, uh, you know, if you want to experience a little bit of that Latin flavor. Now, when it comes to treble, now the treble here is a bit more relaxed, but it's still crisp because you still got those dual balanced armatures, but there's no shoutiness. There's no sibilance. It's not harsh in any way. Uh, performs well and nicely balances itself against that excellent bass response. Now, one of the test tracks that I used here for the FW5 was the, oh, sorry, which one was it? Uh, oh, sorry. Lithium by Nirvana. So the snares and the cymbals of the live band come in excellent without being harsh, without uh, causing you any sort of ear fatigue or pain. So definitely something that you want to have in your playlist. Like, honestly, I mean, you should already have a bunch of Nirvana songs in your playlist. I shouldn't be making that recommendation for you. But if you haven't, then you definitely need to add that in. So overall, the sound quality of the FIO FW5 is excellent in my personal opinion, considering that 90% of the wireless market is still made up of consumer friendly and bass heavy earbuds. It's really nice to have an alternative option or at least another alternative option um, with higher end drivers, a DAC chip, uh, and more focus on sound tuning. Now, to be clear, was I absolutely blown away by the sound? No, just being completely honest, I was not. But it's still a good sounding earbud nonetheless. Now, let me give you some uh, some of my constructive criticism here for these earbuds. So the lack of multipoint, although it was supposed to be with this firmware update, it is most definitely not working. So that's something that I think Fio definitely could you know, go ahead and hopefully fix via another firmware update. Hopefully, I don't know, but it would be nice to see. Also, the lack of wireless charging or improved case battery, that's not something you can fix via firmware update, but I wanted to make this clear in case they ever decide to come out with another model um, that, you know, at this price point, we should, we should definitely bump those specs up if possible. Um, and then thirdly, there is no active noise cancellation. There's no ambient mode. Um, none of the advanced features, you know, no spatial audio, none of that sort of stuff. Um, so just something to keep in mind, um, because considering the price point here of 150 bucks, um, it makes it kind of a tough sell. Just wanted to keep that very, very clear. Now, normally this is the part of the reviews where I would give you some microphone quality samples. Unfortunately, the files that I recorded on my phone are somehow now corrupted. I can't hear anything. So then this happened just before I was going to go live. So I went ahead and called a friend real quick and I asked them, how did I sound? How, how am I coming through? Um, they said that I had good volume on my voice, but they could tell that I was on a set of earbuds. They said the call, the, the quality of my voice was not very good. And when I went outdoors, it was picking up a lot of wind noise. So these are definitely not the best for phone call quality. Um, but I'm really sorry that I couldn't share a call quality sample. Sometimes these things happen, um, or the files go bad, but unfortunately this wasn't the best option when it comes to call quality. Just wanted to make that clear. Now I want to go ahead and answer the main question about this video, which is, are the FIO FW5 worth that $150 asking price? And sadly, for this price point, you need much more than just great sound and high volume to compete with the other players in the game. You've got brands out here like Oppo, Samsung, Soundcore, JBL that can deliver excellent sound as well as all of the flagship features we've come to expect at $150 to $200 price point. So if all you want is a wireless IEM with, you know, without the extras, you know, just sound quality is excellent, volume is excellent, um, then the FW FW5 are a good choice. But otherwise, if you want good sound and all of the other features, then you have other options like the Oppo Inco X2 or the Soundcore Liberty 4 that can satisfy your needs. Now, uh, for full disclosure here, FIO did send over the FW5 for testing and review purposes. However, there was no monetary compensation involved, and they were not afforded any copy approval or early access to this video prior to it being published. Now, I'm telling you this because I believe in honesty and transparency with you as the viewer. As always, please be sure to watch multiple reviews on this product before making that final purchase decision. Now, if you are interested in seeing my review on another set of earbuds with excellent sound and all the flagship features, check out the video that I'm leaving for you right up here on the screen. With that said, my name is Hefe and I'm out this bitch.